All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Ko Halo Yahawa, Bashem, Yahawa Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who've ruled well and who taught me this truth, and Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, Adawan Rathazad is re-edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kodash. And this is going to be super quick, man. I'm I'm not even going to um, keep going back and forth on this. Um, this is so, and this this is a stupid, nonsensical um, topic, man. This is um, Israelite 101. Baby Israelite, <laughs> you know, a baby Israelite knows you're not supposed to eat pork. You know, people in the world know you're not supposed to eat swine, pork. Everybody knows it's unclean. It's nasty. Um, Big Shirley over here, he even um, admitted that the pig is unclean. It's nasty. You know, a, a pig is a, is a, is a, what is a, um, what's the word? It's a, what is it? Um, it eats anything. I forget the word. I forget the word, man. It's lock it. They eat anything. It's the, the the word for, it's slipping my mind right now. It's not carnivore. Um, what is it? They eat anything. Like I said, what the hell is that word? Nothing but Satan. But anyway, I'm gonna play a little bit of this video, and I, I, the only reason I'm doing this is to show you how deceitful Big Shirley is over here. All right, I'm gonna show you how deceitful he is. But as the scriptures say, the simple believeth every word. You know, the prudent man looketh well to his going. Only the prudent, the elect, are going to take heed and search the scriptures and truly inquire and search the scriptures to see if the things people are saying are true. Okay? A lot of you just want to hear smooth things. You want to, which I'm going to get, you want you want, to, you want us to prophesy deceit. And that's what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is doing. You know, the deceived and the deceiver are his. If whatever, whatever vile affection, your vile lust, the scriptures say Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will choose your delusion. That's what he's doing. Whatever you want, whatever you want to believe in, whatever the flavor your your flavor of the month is, you're gonna find it out here. You know? You know? Whatever you looking, you know, whatever you looking to get get down, you wanna um whatever you wanna do, you can find it. You can find somebody that's gonna justify it. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is only looking for the, the elect, the remnant. The ones that are gonna um uh, make that sacrifice, make their body a living sacrifice upon this altar, which is America. You got to put off the old man, man. You got it's thing. It's not. It's not do as thou will, come as thou art. You got to become a new creature. You got to repent, amend your ways, to the best of your ability. But anyway, let me stop blibbity blabbing. I don't want this to be too long. I'm gonna play a little bit of this again. Fair use, fair use, fair use. You know, this is this video is for edificational purposes, not for monetary gain. I'm gonna play like maybe like five minutes, if that, and then I'll get into the scriptures, and, and that'll be the lesson. So here we go again. Let me make sure the sound is good. Salakia. You niggas want to get on me for some goddamn ham, and you over here stuffing dollar bills in a uh, 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 stripper G string. Now that's that's number one. He's uh talking about Sakari. Which he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right on that point. And uh, matter of fact, me and the brother, we was talking about it. That um, uh, what Sakari did, that this is running neck and neck with Sakari. How they damn near blasphemed the Passover. That you know, this is uh, they 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 running a close neck and neck. You know, but you know that that's what he's talking about. Just so you can understand. You know, which we know Sakari's off his hell, off his hell anyway. Which he had valid points. But that's how these people, they're deceitful. They tell half-truths. They don't tell the whole truth. That's how thats how you know they're wicked as hell, because they, they're being deceitful. In order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth, like we always say. He's got good points, valid points about Sakari, how they uh, dispel the writings of Paul. You know, but, hey, <laughs> I hate to say it, but if you want the 100% 100 truth, you got to come to the men of great millstones melt great millstone gms start with the head apostles on down 
You know, that's why we give double honors to our elders and apostles who rule well and, and teach, well, teach well. Okay? And all the men that are pushing this same sound doctrine, no leaven. A little leaven, leaven the whole lump. You got to teach this whole truth. And you can't add or take away from the scriptures. You got to declare the whole gospel, the bitter and the sweet. But a lot of you want to hear smooth things. You want, you just want the sweet. You don't want the bitter. You don't want to change. You want to keep doing whatever the hell you, you've been doing in this world. You know, and, and then you try to justify yourself. But anyway, Salakia, let's get back to the video. But he's got a point about Sakari. But this ain't about, this video is about you, Big Shirley. You being deceitful. And I'm going to prove it. Now, I'm going to go upside your head with the Hebrew uh, concerning pork. Since y'all all me about this pork, let's deal with that. All right. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 11. Leviticus chapter 11. Verse 7. And I'm only picking that one. This whole passage deals with clean and unclean foods, but we're going to get into that, all right? Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Now, why is he unclean? Well, what makes him an abomination? An abomination is uh, uh, something that can't be uh, 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 He's past being unclean. I, I got that. I get that. But what, what makes him unclean? Is it because he's not safe to eat? Let's find out. All right. He's got a split hoof and he looks like a grazing animal. But he doesn't chew the cud. He only got one belly. So that means that his blood is impure. You can't. If, 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 if the Most High didn't classify him as abominable, you would try to sacrifice a pig's blood on the altar, which you cannot do. His blood cannot atone for your sins. That's what makes him unclean. It makes him ceremonially unclean. Not that you can't eat him now, and I'm going to show you why. Now, y'all see this right here? I got it highlighted. Okay. I'm not going to play the whole thing. That, that This is pretty much the point. Again, showing you how deceitful these people are. Okay? Notice. You can you can watch the you can see where I got it from. You can go watch the whole video for for yourself, right? He's trying to justify himself, but my question is: This is a, a, a ploy of these Christians. This is a ploy that Vocab Malone uses, and, and and you simpletons, you believe this. You you get deceived by these people's fair speech because you really you're looking to be deceived. You you like the woman. You want to be lied to. You want to hear sweet nothings whispered into your ear. But if you stop and use your actual brain and then search the scriptures, you know, and inquire unbiasedly, you, you will find the truth. But a lot of you are not biased. You have a you 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 have a um you have an agenda. You don't you don't really want it. You looking to justify yourself just like Big Shirley over here. Okay? So my question is, why did you stop at verse seven? You talking all that mess about Oh, it's unclean ceremonially and all this bullshit, right? Which it is. But why didn't you read verse 8? Verse 8 tells you clearly, of their flesh shall ye not eat. How are you going to get around that? And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So if you can't even touch the, the damn swine, the pig, how the fuck are you going to eat it? It's, it's it, That's why it's abominable. <laughs> okay? Not every, not every law, not everything in the laws were abominable. Only certain acts were abominable, like the act of sodomy. It's detestable. It's beyond. It's 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 it's, it's a it's extremely offensive to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, you see. Let me read that. Run that back. Why didn't he continue? Why did he stop at verse seven? Now, what you want to do? Classify him as abominable. You would try to sacrifice a pig's blood on the altar, which you cannot do. His blood cannot atone for your sins. That's what makes him unclean. It makes him ceremonially unclean. Not that you can't eat him now, and I'm going to show you why. So you heard him. He said, not that you can't eat him now. But we, when, you, when, <laughs> when you go into Leviticus, 
show you where I'm at. Leviticus 11, verse 7. He read verse 7, and the swine, which we know is the pig, pork, right? Though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the clud, cud he is unclean to you. Whether you want to go into the blue letter or not, that's on you. But a lot of times the blue letter goes off because Esau, Edom, him, his damn self is the devil. He's deceitful and he tries to pull the okie doke over you. Okay. That's why you got to read the scriptures precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. The scriptures don't, don't contradict themselves. Yahweh Bashim Shai does not contradict. They don't con contradict themselves. Man contradict themselves. Man is fallible. These scriptures, Yahweh Bashim Shai, it's infallible. There's all type of scriptures about the swine being unclean. I, 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 I'm going to botch the scripture, but there's a there's a scripture about about the, the ruby and, and the swine snout, you know, uh, showing you the uncleanliness. I'm going to go into the, the, the Maccabees. I pointed it out in my last lesson. That's, com that's Israelite 101. Muslims. <laughs> Motherfuckers in the world know it's unclean. He's even going to go into how unclean it is. There's experiments. They showed you about putting pork and, and, and covering it with, with, with uh, uh, baking soda or covering it with so-called Coca-Cola. Like he marinated his shit in for two days. And you see the, the worms kind of coming out of it. They tell you about how you can never get those worms out, uh, you, no matter how long you cook the pork for. It's unclean, man. I, I, I'm forgetting the damn word. If I remember, I'll put it in the description. You know, not not it's not a carnivore. It's a, um, they eat everything. I forget the word. I forget the word. Salakia. But anyway, going back to verse eight, of their flesh shall ye not eat. It's plain. How you gonna get around that? It's plain. And their caucus shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So it's plain, man. Ain't no, ain't no way around it. Okay? And I'll give you some examples. Um, I, I, I broke the, I broke the, I, I went into this. I referenced it in my last video. Read 1 Maccabees chapter 1. Read, uh, I'm going I'm to read a little bit of 2 Maccabees 6. I'm going to read a little bit of 2 Maccabees chapter 7. You know? That's one of the things Antiochus Epiphany uh, uh, did, man. You know, you were you, you, when he Hellenized Yasharala, you weren't allowed to call yourself an Israelite anymore. You um, you had to break the laws. You had to defile the Sabbath. You had to eat swine. You weren't allowed to circumcise the children, and but you had you always Yahabashim Shai always kept a cluster, a righteous cluster that did not bot with like I said seven thousand men that would not bend the knee to Baal. You always had a remnant that would not. Uh, you know, that stood stiffly. Fast forward right now, you got the elect. We the only ones that's defending this gospel, man. Giving you the bitter and the sweet. The whole truth, you know, <laughs> nothing but the truth. Whether you hear or forbear. And th that's what this account is going into. So, 2 Maccabees 6 and um, 18. E Eleazar, one of the principal scribes and aged men, he was a man of a certain age, just like Big Shirley is. And of because you supposed the aged man supposed to have knowledge, man. You know? The hoary head and represents wisdom. But this dude lacking wisdom. Well, he ain't like he's deceitful. He know what the hell he's doing. Like the apostles say, in order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth. And he knows the truth. He know where to stop at. He's being deceitful. Eliezer, one of the but because he know what Jake wanna hear. Jake wanna hear smooth things. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. Let's look up this word constrained. Apparent, forced, or overly controlled. So they were trying, they want they were trying to get him, again, like I referenced in my last video, to convince um, you know, because he was a he was a, a well, a highly esteemed man in, in uh, Yasharala of a certain age reputable they were trying to use him to, to sway the masses to do what defile their temple you know break the laws because again the swine a swine has always been complete it's known that it's an abomination just like being a sodomite it's well known it's well documented it ain't a mystery but listen to what it said in verse 19 but he choosing rather to die gloriously 
than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth, and came of his own accord to the torment. You see? So that's the point. <laughs> he, spat, he spat it out and, and, and took the punishment. Okay, and that's the same thing, and and not uh, same same concept in Second Maccabees seven and one, and it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh, and were tormented with scourges and whips, but one of them that spake first said thus, What wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Okay? So what does that mean? What what law? He, he, he was going into it. The dietary laws. Again, Leviticus 11, 7, and the main point is an 8. And the swine, though, it, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Plain and simple, man. And their caucus shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So ain't no getting around it, man. Ain't no getting around it. Ain't no getting around it. You know? But uh, like the brothers brought out, he's a sinful man. He's a wicked ass nigga, man. But hey, the same, the same wicked men coming back in a lot to receive their judgment. You know? Ecclesiastes, straight to the point. The brothers keep bringing it out. Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach. Chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Self-willed are they. You know, he want to do his own thing. He ain't about serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He about serving his big fat belly. You know? Like uh, Apostle Gabar said, he got a pork demon on him. And a lot of you people got pork demons on you. You just can't, you, you can't stop eating that swine. You you, you, you you just love it. You wicked as hell, man. It, and it, it, it's an easy thing to follow the dietary laws to the best of your ability. We're not in hardcore bondage anymore. You don't have to eat that shit. You got free will. Somewhat, somewhat free will. You know, you you ain't you know. In slavery, I can understand you had to eat that slop, or you you incarcerated, you in prison. You know, you got to eat that shit. Or die, you know. But we in the time we in the, you ain't gotta you you can buy chicken, you can buy beef, you can buy lamb. It's it's no excuse. You willfully eating that shit because you a goddamn demon and you got demons on you. You got the pork demon on you. <laughs> Isaiah thirty and a lot of you got pork demons on you. Isaiah thirty and nine that this is a rebellious people, lying children. He's a goddamn liar telling half truths. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh, which see to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. You want to be lied to. Because you want to just keep doing your own goddamn thing. Keep being a goddamn reprobate. A demon. You know? You ain't trying to put off the old man. You're trying to drag that fat ass, greasy, wicked ass nigga into the kingdom. And guess what? You ain't coming on a chariot. You're going to die on this side. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Yasharala to cease from us. You know? That's the point. You know? Jake ain't trying to hear this truth. Jake Jake looking. That's why That's why they be uh, camp hopping. They want shit a la carte. You know? They want to hear what they want to hear. They want to do what they want to do. And they're going to look, they're going to search and search and search until they find somebody that's going to justify their wickedness. Yeah, you ain't going to get that over here. You ain't going to, not over here. You're going to get the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Whether you hear or forbear, the blood is off our hands. You ain't going to put that on us. Matthew chapter 5. Um, I'll start at 16. Let your light shine before men. That's what Zion is, a monument. We're supposed to be a beacon of light, a beacon of righteousness, okay? You know, a constant eyesore, a reminder that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not done away with his people, and he and, and he has a, a remnant that he's gonna come back and, and deliver, because we're gonna trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we're gonna be obedient to the best of our ability unto death. Let your light shine 
and, and, and I show you my faith by my works. Okay? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the main point. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Because that's what they, they always want to say. Oh, the law is done away with. We under grace. We under grace. Yeah, we under grace. Okay? We're not justified by the law. Okay? But we rehearse the righteous acts. Okay? We try to the best of our ability to, 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 to keep the laws that we can keep. We try to keep the Sabbath to the best of our ability. We try to follow the dietary laws. Okay? We're rehearsing. Okay? And where we fall short, that's where grace comes in. Okay? Great, a grace period. It's a time to get your act together. Okay? So again, straight out of Yahweh Shai's mouth. This should be in red. Okay? So it says, Think not that I come to destroy the law, because the law ain't done away with, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily, truly, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot, or one tittle, and which we know that means iota, the smallest, uh, the, the one, the smallest um, thing in the law, you know, the smallest point in the law. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Okay, whosoever therefore, whosoever therefore, you listening, Big Shirley? Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. That's the point. We rehearse, we establish to the best of our ability. Romans chapter 3, and you was mentioning Paul. This is Paul, <laughs> Paul speaking. Therefore, the main point is in 31. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the power of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that are scattered abroad, that may look like some of the heathen nations, but their lineage goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs, okay? Yes, of the Gentiles also. That was the big debate. They were trying to force the, the Israelite foreigners to keep the laws that even... They, you know, they couldn't keep themselves, right? They were putting yoke, heavy yokes upon them, right? But you grow in grace. It's it's a process, okay? The more the more the longer you're in this thing, the more your faith is built up. The more you you grow to keep more and more the commandments. You, you you come into perfection, okay? It says yes, also of the Gentiles, seeing it is one power, one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith. And circumcision through faith. Because again, we know we're saved ultimately through the faith, through the blood of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. We know that already. We're not, the, the laws can't save us. Okay? We know that. This is the main point. Do we, since we know that we're saved ultimately by faith, right? Do we then make void the law through faith? Since we save through faith, do we just cast the law behind us? We just do whatever the fuck we want to do? Paul says what? God, Yahweh forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Okay? That's the wisdom and that's our wisdom in the sight of the nations. This is what separates us from these heathens. And also the laws are not grievous. They make sense. They're perfect. It's it, this that's how you have life more abundantly. Okay? <laughs> okay? The wages of sin are death. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. You break the law, you die. There's consequences for breaking the laws. There's consequences for breaking the dietary law. You are what you eat. Look at look at Big Shirley. You can tell what he eats. All right? You can tell what he eats. Abominable foods. That's why he looked like the abominable snowman. I'm going to close out here. This is too easy. It, like I said, this is Israelite 101. Niggas in the world know you don't eat fucking pork, man. It's abominable, gross, nasty. That's the utmost disrespect, you know? And you can control it, man. Ain't no excuses. Ain't nobody putting no gun to your head, you you know? So we, I'm going to close out here. Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered. Matter of fact, Salak, I got one more. 
Okay, no, that's the last one. Salaki. I'm going to close out here. Judges 5 and 11. They that, are, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the places of drawn waters. What's the, drawn waters represent what? Captivity. We are yet to stay in captivity, subject to payments, right? And the archers really represent the missiles. I don't want to watch this out. We be of that number. We're going to escape the Lord's arrows. We're going to get beamed up in them chariots, get the new bodies, the laws put in the inward part, so on and so forth, right? But this is the point. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts. It's righteous. It's just. The laws are perfect, okay? You know, there shall they rehearse. What's a rehearsal? You practicing, you doing it, you know, you you, you ain't going to get it perfect, but you, you, that's the goal. You rehearse and you rehearse, you practice, you practice, you practice in hopes that you eventually get it down packed. You get it you, for when you do the play, the recital or whatever, you get it done perfectly. You got to That's what we're doing. We're rehearsing, but we're not going to get it perfect till we get the new bodies. When we get the, that that um, fleshy heart, the stony heart is removed. The laws put in our inward part. Then we're going to get it perfect. Again, we don't make void the law. We establish it. We rehearse. They that are delivered from the noise of the arches and the places of drawn water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord Yahweh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh go down to the gates. And that's what we're doing, man. You know? That's the point. All right? So, Adawan Ratazah, this made sense. It came together. I mean, it's many, it's, it's many scriptures you can pull to cut this madness, man. It's too easy. It, you know, it's simple. It's simple. You know? But the point, the only reason I'm really doing this is because, like I said, a lot of you want to hear smooth things, man. You know? And, and I, it's plain. I showed this nigga's being deceitful, man. And the Lord going to destroy this nigga, at least he repent. He going to destroy you niggas, at least you repent. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwan